Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of the i5 UV EOS from Olight. This is based on the i5T, which I have here on the right side. This is in camo. Comes in a box like this. Uh, the specifications are as follows. We got a 1.5 watt emitter inside of there, or 1500 milliwatts. The wavelength of that emitter is going to be 365 nm. And it's going to be a runtime of 45 minutes approximately with either an alkaline or a nickel metal hydride AA battery, which we have right here. Uh, it's IPX8 resistant. It's a uh, 1.5 meter drop. And its weight, uh, including the battery, is going to be 63 grams. Okay. So if we look at this light here, we can see that it's a orange peel reflector inside of here. And it appears to be a uh, plastic lens cover. So uh, it's not made of mineral glass. And then we have the emitter in the center there. Compared to the PMMA Ashram 9 P9 emitter inside of here, we can see the TIR reflective optic. So it's a little bit different. And obviously, we're going to have different uh, light coming out from each emitter. So for reference, the F5T, we have two modes. That's the low mode, and this is high mode. Okay. For the I5 UV, we've only got one mode. We're going to go ahead and get some examples of uh, the I5 UV in action. All right, we're back. We're shooting in an aperture 5.6 at 24 frames per second, ISO 1250, with a temperature balance of 3500 Kelvin. This is the I5 UV. I have a knife pouch in front of me, and this houses my Leatherman in here. You can see uh, the uh, small specks here that you normally wouldn't see with a regular light. And then if we open this up, as a very, very high-vis neon orange, which I like a lot, and this light really amplifies it. Back of the pouch. Let's get that out of the way. As you can see, my mat doesn't really reflect much, but you can kind of see my hand, and uh, you can see where the parts are that shine that no one wouldn't shine up on a regular light, like on my index finger here. Okay, I have a glow in the dark diffuser on, on my i5T here. You can see part of it's lit up from the uh, UV light, but if we blast it real quick, turn that off, check that out. Is that pretty cool? So you can trigger certain glow-in-the-dark diffusers with this. At least uh, the one on my i5T. I got the diffuser from uh, Lumen Top, so it happens to fit the i5T profile pretty good. Some closing thoughts on the i5 UV. I find it a pretty practical light in that it can discover chemical spills in your house, on the carpet, and uh, elsewhere. If you're looking for an inspection light, this might be something to look into. I'm not too familiar with UV lights. This is my first uh, UV light that I've had, uh, and uh, so far it performs pretty well in my opinion. Uh, the 45 minute runtime is somewhat a little bit disappointing, but I don't understand the exact science behind UV lights, so I suppose that's uh, normal for a single AA light. Uh, if I had a suggestion to uh, make, it would probably be giving uh, maybe a high and low mode on this. I don't know if that would affect its practicality. And maybe finding a, a way to increase the runtime from 45 minutes to a little bit higher. Um, I did notice that the light does get a little bit hot in the head if you keep it on for a while. Uh, that's fine. It doesn't get burning hot. But something to note about the i5 UV. I suppose with this light, though, you want to probably just turn it on for a few seconds, see what you're looking for, spot it, and then turn it off. So I suppose that, that that would be a manner of using the light. Other than that, it comes with your standard clip on the side here with a little lanyard hole, kind of like uh, the i5T here. And you can make a little lanyard for your i5T or i5 UV. And I like that part, that they include a clip with your light. Uh, and I like the fact that it uses rechargeable AA batteries or alkaline batteries. So it's a modular battery system. So that's a good thing about the i5 UV. Uh, I definitely recommend it for anywhere from $26 to $32. Uh, if you can get it for, on sale, definitely do it. 
Uh, if you're looking for a fun light to have in your collection, definitely get it. I like the, the uh, artwork on the uh, light itself. It kind of stands out so you know which one is which in your light kit if you're carrying it. So definitely something to look at and check out. And that's all I pretty much have to say about the i5 UV. Thanks for watching.